Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Stardew Valley Strategy and Tactics, um, the Lazy Farmer Build, uh, episode 13. So we are here on the last day of spring, and a couple of things could happen today. Namely, um, well, we're going to take a, take a quick look at uh, what the uh, smuggler has for us, um, because that's going to kind of determine what we're going to be doing. Uh, very displeased. Well, that doesn't help us in any case. Uh, we get the omelet. Not bad, not bad. And our barn is done. Sweet. Time to buy us some cat. Well, hmm. This is a bit of a dilemma. We're going to be recharging our cash here by selling all these pertaters that are all being uh, pulled up now. It looks like I got them timed right. That one's not so timed right. Neither is that one, unfortunately. But the rest of these, the, the lion's share of that, and this isn't going to go bad. So, cash money in the bank right there. Sup, kitty. All right, let us go down south. Let us go down south and uh, uh, check out the smuggler. If the smuggler doesn't have anything for us, uh, then uh, we'll check out Marnie um, and see how much a cow is and see if that will break our bank. Because we want to make sure we have enough money for seeds uh, to start planting in, in uh, spring ASAP. Well, let's see what you got. Tulip, yam seeds? No. A dark throne. Rare seeds, but that's sown in the fall. So nothing, uh, $900 salmon berry. <gasps> I clicked the X! I clicked the, an X! No! No, 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 no! I'm about to shove that back in your face, lady. I... Can I not even... Can I not stack it with my... Oh my god. I know not know the fairy. Oh. Misclick of the century. Miss freaking click of the century. $900 salmon berry. Ugh. How much are one of these freaking cows? All right, let me look for worms or do something resembling. Here, I'll go fishing. We'll go fishing while we wait for it to open. Not my favorite stomping ground, but hey, water is water, fish is fish. Not really. It's much less efficient to fish elsewhere, generally speaking. But hey, we'll get a few more bits of variety in fish here. <laughs> or we'll just get more chub. <laughs> they just follow me. <laughs> it's like, you know, chub, chub there, chub there, chub everywhere. So, yeah, a uh, pro tip for the day um, when exiting out of your uh, the smuggler dialogue box, use the escape button, not trying to click on the X. Clicking on the X will cause you to buy $900 salmon berries and rage. Howdy yourself. How much is a cow? $1,500! We can do, we can do $1,500. We can absolutely do $1,500. <laughs> Cthulhu. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> Chuthulu. Hey, the random number generator, the, no, the random uh, name generator gave me a, a lead and I ran with it. The Eldritch Cow. Drinking her milk will cause you to go insane. Hey, Haley, you around? 
I have a $900 salmon berry with your name on it. <laughs> you gonna come down at 10 or are you gonna, yeah, you're still gonna stare at your vanity. How the heck did I ever freaking par date you in my last preview? We're going to run over to Gunther's to go uh, drop off some of our donatables. Just in the off chance he gives us something that will be relevant to our interests. Nope, nothing. That's okay. We are making slow but steady progress. You know what I might do for to sort of cap us off here? Um, just because I, well, I kind of need it. Um, um, to refill, quote unquote, refill on, tr on trash, uh, I'm going to go down to the mines and, uh, and uh, go fishing in the level 40 mine there to try and get, bag myself uh, some high level fish. Now, that's going to require a little skill here um, and a little bit of luck. Uh, because the things with the fishing inside the mines there, yeah, they um, they have a high instance rate of trash. Oh, I don't have a present for you. That's okay. Do I have fun? Yes. Um, actually, not really. I don't have fun working in the farm. I want to do. Why did I say yes? I wanted to do as little as possible around the farm. Um, I would rather be at the mines or at the lake uh, and do absolutely nothing in my farm. And once again, I call up the crab pot. How annoying. Okay. Hello, Mr. Woodpecker. Why didn't I drop that thing off? Oh, well, no matter. Put that up there. We'll get, the, we'll get these broken glasses cooking real quick. And I think it was level 40 that had the lake. Maybe level 60. I'll, I'll dance around. One of them has. It will take me right to it. We'll take the pickaxe uh, and the dagger with us just in case but let's go uh, let's go hunting for some high level fish oh here you can have a nine hundred dollar salmon berry oh no dialogue hmm. all right no dialogue Um, level 40, or maybe it's level 60, or maybe level 50. Not level 50. Uh, 55? Nope. 60? Yeah, it's 60. This is the place to go. Where absolutely nobody knows your name. All right, let's see what we can get here, and also see if I have the chops to actually pull up the thing that I'm trying to get. Whoa, 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 whoa! Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, I need a trap lure. Let's try that again. This may be a little bit uh, too thick for my blood. That fish was not effing around. This must be a must more soul. Ghost fish! Oh, but man, what the heck was that thing? And what the heck was it on, and where can I get some? Alright, you know what? No. This isn't going to be productive. 
We either go mining or... No, we go fishing. We need the cash. We need cash more than we need anything else here. So despite the lack of efficiency in terms of smelting stuff, because I don't have any stuff to smelt, um, we are going to go fishing because we need the cash. Well, here, we got some garbage to process. Ooh, and it's a golden ghost fish. Nice. There we go. Stick the newspaper in there, and let's, <laughs> let's fish some stuff that we are a little bit more comfortable fishing. All right, guys, I'll see you on the flip side. Okay, we are done for the evening. Our energy has run its course. So let us uh, do our items uh, shifting here. Let's see. Yeah, we want to take the crab pot stuff back with us. We can take that algae too. Um, our wood stays up here. That's fine. Put our dagger and our that back. You know, we're just going to keep the freaking rod here. I mean, it's the only place I'm going to use it. Um, do we need to take anything else down here? Um, you know what, I'll come in and consolidate my clay. Take that back. Take that pine cone and the field snacks back with me. Let's take those because we're going to sell them. Um, take that because we're going to, no, we're not going to sell them because I'm out of inventory space. Right then. Hmm, what are we going to do? We're just going to leave that there as a gold star snack. No, oh, hell, we'll just put the pine cone back up there. There we go. That way we can liquidate it. And, um, yeah, that's about it. All right, so, good, uh, yeah, we're going to run all the way home with something above our head. That's fine, because we're just going to be depositing that in our cell box and see what kind of, what kind of scratch we can end the season with. Now, if you remember correctly, um, my last playthrough ended this season at about 36,000 gold made. And I know we've already exceeded that, but I want to see how much more we can exceed it by. And we are also set up to be in a significantly better place because of all these freaking sprinklers. Oh yeah, we also have to say, uh, say hi to our... We have to feed our cow. Um, can't forget about her. Let's see. Fish, fish. Wonder why those didn't stack. Hmm. Ooh, five gold stars. That's going to fetch us some goodies. Don't know. I'm going to see how much that ghost fish uh, liquidates for. Um, everything else is a keeper. All right, cow. He's trying to sleep. But will it sleep? Not with me around. Mwahaha. All right, have your, have your hay. Should have called it Muthulu. That would have been more hilarious. Level four farming. Sweet. That's what we're talking about. Uh, there's nothing specific on this level that I'm really, really after, but it means we're making progress. And the sooner we can get to level five and get that, uh, get that. So despite the fact that we completely, well, I'd say pretty much completely ignored farming in terms of the traditional method, we're still level four by the end of the season. That's awesome. Um, and we are only going to be getting higher and higher as the uh, year goes on. Look at all those potatoes. Look at those. Look at all that fish. Look at that ghost fish. Oh, 67. Now those large mouse bat, large mouth bass, on the other hand, that's what we're talking about. 5,501 gold. Oh, yeah, I think we've been officially beaten the ever-living heck out of my old playthrough. And this is why I wanted to redo this rather than just continue into summer. 46,000. We beat it by a whole 
10,000 gold. And that was even with the, well, it didn't factor in my stupid $900 salmon berry purchase. Um, but the current funds would be 1,700 if it wasn't, weren't for that. Ah, uh, but, ah, uh, the sounds of summer. Huzzah. Weather report. Beautiful day. I don't know why I keep checking the weather. I don't care. Good humor today. A little extra luck. Fair enough. Yeah, we only lost two plants there to, uh, well, death. Well, soil death. All right, let's, uh, let's hoe it up. That's what today is all about. And... Oh, there's a little trick, uh, although I don't have the materials for it. Um, that if, uh, you can, if you put your sprinklers on flooring, you can prevent yourself from accidentally uh, hoeing them up. Um, but I do need to trim this stuff back. And what's this frickin'... What's the, what's, what's the, what is this stick doing? It is in the way. It does, it does not need to be in the way. Uh, we'll throw down some mixed seeds. Might as well use those since they are now magically summer-based seeds. So something will be growing there. Uh, but we also need a copious amount of fertilizer. Thankfully, we have some. All right. So let us continue our digging here and fertilizing, most importantly, and unfortunately, <laughs> day of watering. We are going to be doing a lot of hand watering today because we want to make sure these uh, crops um, do get started on the right foot. And let's go chop this little sticky here. But yeah, this is this is kind of the reason why I didn't do it because all of these plots got themselves uh, uh, kind of messed up here. Yeah, pretty much everything inside this little matrix of uh, sprinklers has to be hoed because they all cover each other without overlapping. So no uh, no actual sprinkler power is wasted. And I'm gonna need a lot of seeds. Now, the one, the, the pivot that I was talking about before, uh, once we got to summer, is we're we're gonna we're gonna stop. So we're gonna we're gonna lay off with the production of basic sprinklers. We're we're done with them. I mean, we are absolutely gonna be using the ever living heck out of the basic sprinklers that we have. Don't get me wrong. This is uh, this is absolutely the whole reason why we went crazy building them in the first place. But. We need to tech up. We need we need better sprinklers, uh, or the, our farmland as a whole will not be uh, used very efficiently. So we want to uh, basically reap the benefits of all these sprinklers um, without. Uh, yeah, I think that's everything. This one this looks a little weird to me, but that's okay. All right, so let's uh, let me count how many uh, how many seed packets I need. I made one too many packets. <laughs> 80. 80 of them. Which actually means we only need uh, 79 seeds since we've got one right here. Boom. I don't, I don't know what that's going to be, but it's a, it's a thing. Okay, well let's go to Pierre's and uh, buy 79 seeds. Yeah, we'll get our gatherables here, so we can just sell it. No, we're not selling the sweet pea. We're just gonna... We're not eating the sweet pea, we're gonna sell the sweet pea! Since we're going to Pierre's anyway. Man, how big of a troll would it be if Pierre's decided to be closed on Mondays instead of Wednesdays? You couldn't buy your seeds for the beginning of the season. 
Actually, it is important. Maru's birthday, the 10th. We must remember that. Right before the Luau Festival. Abigail, uh, Red Snapper. All right then. Well, with new uh, walking patterns, I might actually meet everybody. How's it going, Abigail? Yes. Well, we're going to do we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to do 70 of these blueberry seeds, but I want pepper seeds too. Uh, but not we want the lion's share to be blueberries. They are the hands down most profitable summer crop out there. So we're going to be relying on this to make us copious amounts of money. And that's how we're actually going to be doing the whole Joja stuff. Now, as you notice, I haven't touched that yet, but that's fine. That's fine. We're still going Joja here. Um, so. We're going to do 70 of those. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, one too many. All right. We'll sell that, I guess. Um, we'll sell that. And sell that. And yeah, that's. Oh, um, well, do I want poppy seeds? No, not yet. We'll get poppy seeds later when we need them. All right. Any chance of meeting Haley? Nope. <laughs> she in here? Nope, she's out and about. That's fine. I don't care about you, Haley. Hello, little lady. And you know what? Since we're in the in the area, and, let, and if she's here, let's buy another cow. Since we have the never mind. Uh, Marty, you are you are the you are worst shopkeeper. I just want to buy myself another freaking cow. So rather than wait to uh, try and breed them. All right, nothing there yet. Let me just poke my head over here. Damn it, how's it going? Nope, nothing there. Oh yeah, uh, my mushroom cave. I haven't been in here, like, ever. Can't believe I forgot about those. <laughs> It's another thing I need to remind myself to do. And speaking of reminding myself to do... Have more hay. Um, yeah, I can let you out. Tomorrow's gonna be sunny too. All right, let's get plant in here. Uh, we'll put the spicy stuff up here. Yeah, cause the cow's got plenty of goodies to just nibble on over here. Right then. Blueberry seeds. And this is actually kind of the reason why I uh, want to uh, go with Joja is you can plant for pure profits and not really care about what you're getting. Um, you just need to find the more profitable of the items. I mean, I don't even know what that is, but we'll figure it out. And it's just one plot, so... And one... Oh! 
Oh, I th actually I'm glad I miscounted. Good. And actually now I need to water all this malarkey. <laughs> Did the cow step on the cat? It looks like it. Just squish. All right, let's, um, let's put that wood away. Let's get out this rusty watering can, put it to use for one day, and then throw it away. Yeah, there's a reason I haven't bothered upgrading this thing, is that the only time I'm ever going to have to water is, like, in instances like this, then... Why bother? And heck, even some of the tiles came pre-watered for us uh, because they were they were there and barren for us at the beginning of the season. But yeah, these things will get producing for us quite nicely once these things get going. Let's get a refill here. I have a feeling it's about to tell me he was out of water. And I think everything is close enough to scarecrows that uh, they aren't going to get crowed. Now there is one other crop that I could advocate here in the summertime, and that is hops. Um, the only reason I went with hop, I didn't go with hops, is um, well, hops doesn't play well with basic sprinklers. The the, the formation that we have them in here, uh, it just does not work well because they, you can't pass by them. Um, now, if we had gotten our hands on a super sprinkler or a an iridium sprinkler, you know, look how much this drained my energy. You could not could possibly keep up with this many plants without sprinklers. Uh, anyway. Um, had we gotten our hands on one of those, I would have uh, surrounded it by hops plants and planted it away from all this. Oh yeah, since the, since it's the one time of the year that I actually have my watering can in my inventory, let's give the kitty some water. So yes, we actually spent the day legitimately on the farm. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta go give Maru uh, her gate. Well, it's a little late for that now. Um, let's see, I put that away, put that away. Keep that in there. Actually, no, it's not too late to give that to Maru. She's probably stargazing. That's the other nice uh, change for... Uh... There we go. Maru. 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 Why you aren't... Why, why you no stargazing? Maru, you disappoint. But did I not restock these? I didn't restock them. Well, there. And I restocked them. I was too excited about getting the, all that cash money. Oh, well. All right, let's go just spin by the pub. Because now that we're in summer, we can afford to be a little bit more social. We don't need to go quite so insane uh, with our thing, but we're still going to go a little bit insane. And we're still not above rummaging through the trash. Mm, same people, same old, same old. Well, it's Monday anyway. We might as well get our rounds of chit chat around. Then we already talked to you, so let's get out of here. All right. <coughs> now, um, yeah, we already spun by here. So yeah, we uh, we're, we're pretty good now. You might be wondering. Why, uh, why, why I, just, I diverged a little bit into the hot peppers. 
Well, I'll show you why in a little bit. This is one of those things I'm going to keep secret and then surprise you with exactly why you, the method to my madness. But there is a method to my madness. I just didn't, you know, I didn't, I decided, there's a reason for it. There's a legitimate reason for it. All right, folks, that is a good episode here. Uh, so if you like this episode and want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.